I don't like cameras when I'm doing this stuff. No, okay, well, I'll stop filming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, you'll be excited. Big project coming into the shop. It's just coming down the road now. Check it out. This thing has got the biggest Ecotech stroke art you've ever seen. You wait till you fin we finish building this thing. You guys will love it. Full V6 power. Ooh, 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 ooh. Is that a two one five? <laughs> Yeah, Ben did f all in here. But check this out. We didn't cut out any metal to fill these. Smooth them out. It's all with the hammer. This big dog. This guy, f***ing legend. Hmm? Got told I was gonna get a fucking mad uh, barbecue meal and he come back with the hot chook. So, that's what sort of friend I am. I'm a really nice guy. So mean to me. I didn't even get to see the blower. Stroker, 408, I think you just said. And then we've got all this random that's gotta go in the car. Did you say 408? Yeah. Look at that. Unless I blower, not that you guys can see it, because it is dark as shit in here. But there's a blower there. Believe it or not, and a pod filter. That's a nice pod filter. Mm -hmm. Thanks, bro. I appreciate the free car. <laughs> so it's just a straight spot for my uh, VL? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Seems like a fair deal. Definitely. Yeah, looking, in, looking in here, guys. Ooh. Look at that newness. Look at this harmonic balancer. That thing's huge. It's not as big as my d yeah. yeah, I reckon it just goes through the normal volts. Go through there. Mm. So the beginning, handy, handy mm -hmm. dandy. It's just so smooth. Oh, yeah. yeah, I can't take all the credit. Ben got dinner. You can't. You can't take any credit. <laughs> you bought three things now. I can do everything else. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> cool. I mean, you did do a good job. Look at it. It was welding. It's nice. Really? It's nice. For a um, a three-day engine bay shape, mm. including paint. Mm. That's pretty good work I reckon. Yeah, 100%. Especially with the rail box, I have never done that. I don't feel pretty bad when you have to cut a hole over here. Well, that needs the hole for the uh, water tank, yeah. Yeah. But it should be up under the headlight, so... And we don't have some sort of seal around it or something, won't it? Yeah. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Let's put this f***ing hoist up. Can I put the arms underneath that side? <laughs> well, they're under something. Yeah, yeah, no, I've done it. <laughs> Oh, I just get that f***ing shit. This one's so much louder than the other one. Mufasa! <laughs> 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 well, have a look at this floor. Have a look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Very difficult to see. Yeah. Have a look at this. Look at that. I lifted that myself. 
He really did. I can't even say he did. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna cut off this shit. No, I like it's Gabe's character. It does have character. You know it's sealed too, because it's like an extra. Oh, bit. it's sealed. Got plenty of clearance up here on the spring a hanger. Black. Beautiful, look at that. Yeah. It's actually alright sitting there, you just can't go back down and just be under the wheel. Oh yeah. Well at least it doesn't scrub. Yeah. No, we don't need to tub it at all. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's really lots of room here. <laughs> this side's got plenty too. Yeah, because this is the bit I was talking about with the tub when you tub it. But I was thinking we could cut it in the middle, or just behind the shock even, and just move this back a little bit so you still got mm. more room there. Because this side's fine. The side with the filler behind there, because of this, the way that comes up is perfect. You've got f***ing shitloads of room. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, right. It's time for bed. See you guys in a second. So we got a new project in the shop now. You can see it over my uh, shoulder here. It arrived last night and um, yeah, we're going to be cracking into it. You guys aren't actually going to see this video for a while, but um, we're going to be doing build on this thing. It's got a 408 LQ9 uh, stroker uh, block and it's got, it's getting an LSA conversion. It's got built auto, uh, nine inch, three fives, um, all that stuff, full spool. It's getting built for power crews. So we'll be doing a build on the car and then we'll be taking it up to power crews and we'll do videos on it there. And um, yeah, it should be cool because I've just imported some 360 cameras, um, which I'm also going to be selling on my store. There's another thing I'm selling, but um, yeah, we're going to trial them out up at Power Cruise, so that should be pretty cool. We're going to stick them all over the car and try and get some really cool angles. But yeah, looking forward to doing this build. Um, I've actually been working on this car already in the background um, at my mate's house, so uh, yeah, but we just weren't filming it there because he wasn't really comfortable with having cameras in his house. Uh, but yeah, we've already done like smooth the bay. Um, did the diff and then Fisher went off and, um, and then he went off and smoothed out the rest of the engine bay, painted it, um, underbodied the car. Uh, I think he's done a few other things on it. He's dropped the K-frame because it's getting the LSA conversion so that the, everything can sit under the bonnet. Uh, so from the outside, you're not going to be able to tell it's even got an LSA in it. Otherwise, with a VL, you'd have to cut the bonnet open and it will have a scoop or something like that. But yeah, anyway, um, he's going to be here to work today working on it and... Um, yeah, I'm going to be working on other cars on the front hoist, but that's a bonus to having two hoists now. I can have projects going on everywhere. And then, yes, I still have some more exciting news about other things that are going on, but I still just can't tell you that. I reckon you'll see it throughout this build video because I don't think I'm going to be able to hide um, what else is going on. But, yeah, he's going to have to watch and find out. Anyway, I guess he's going to get into it, and I'm going to get into what I'm doing. But, uh, yeah, we'll both be working on the car periodically for the next few months while we build it and get it ready for power cruise. Turbo 400 to yeah. VL. You got the crank. Have you got the crank piece? To... Yeah, but even that's still going to be a bit out. Oh, yeah, you're miles away. You're f miles away. You'll pull it out. So Ben's just been mocking up the motor and transmission just to make sure it all goes together and he's just noticed that the torque converter's got about 15 mil. It's still off the flex plate. Um, so we can't pull that in because it'll pull the uh, teeth off the pump. So it won't be driving the pump. And um, so Ben's just jumped in the car and he's driving up to Castle Main to uh, pick up a conversion kit of some sort to be able to convert it so that we've, we've got no, so that it's gonna work. <laughs> what are you doing, Ben? No, no, What are you doing? No, but just, um... Wasn't this about five, six grand? No, this is just a cheap little part. Oh, yeah. Just, just doing some... Just doing some little mods. Ben's du triple double check this, he said. Promise me. I definitely checked it once. <laughs> I checked it once? And I'm definitely marking it with squeezes, so... <laughs> we're past that point in my day. Yeah. 
Well, for a cut, I'll clean it up a little bit. Actually, it's pretty good, like the old spot. Like that's my scrub line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty well. Yeah, see? You got no faith in yourself. No. Then just get a little air buzzer there, you can buzz it up to make it a bit nicer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I quite f this stuff right <laughs> I got faith in you, but this ain't a junkyard. You know that I'm ready to try this, Remy? And that's nerve wracking because I just cut a 206 dollar part with an angle grinder. Let's f undo this and go, oh no, I f it up again. There is a fing great chance that that's gonna happen. <laughs> the crucial part is not pulling the fing converter off. The, um, yeah, converter off your pump. Yeah. Oh. The crucial part is that I've clicked it in and up and measured it properly and didn't, un and it's not one click out and I've just cut it for no reason. <laughs> That's what I f***ing said to you, right? No, you f***ing been putting it in. It's, it's in. Laugh at me, you f***ing. <laughs> <laughs> <That's right. laughs> How you guys? It's all the way in your door. <laughs> oh. And if it's not, well, I'll keep that bit and I'll want it back on. Go <laughs> <laughs> okay, get the dig welder now. Hey. <laughs> So what have you done? So they give me these $60 ARP bolts with my modified um, uh, thing. And they're the ARP Inverter bolts. Better adapter, I guess you'd call that. Yep, they're too close. Yeah, you can't even do it up. The socket, so maybe we can try a very slim one, but I don't like the look of it compared to that. That was very good. Yeah, I'll good. just be using the f***ing factory ones, mate. I mean, well, out of principle, I paid for these now. Like, yeah. What am I going to do? Just put them in Remy's collection. Yeah. That's no good. That's so good. <laughs> hey, one more bright side. I know you're f***ing trying to make money. Can I just get a lift? Because I don't trust it now. Just so I can sit on and be at peace yeah. that I've made the good decision. You, you haven't need a hand, mate. I'm here for you. You could ask. Oh, it's gone. But I thought I'd just drop a 10 grand on the ground. Yeah. But that'd be much better. <laughs> mate, with a broke joker on the ground, you have bigger problems. Than... Yeah. Well, that's good. I'm going to edit this video to get a little close. I was helping you the whole <laughs> you're done, isn't it? You might be on the money there, mate. Oh, mate, you fucking. <laughs> yeah, you probably should have taken a little bit less off, but that's perfect, I think. So, obviously, they don't know what fletch plate or converter I've got. So, they, that was just a wing in it. Oh, okay. Because they're not set to that thing in the middle. Yeah, right. These were just 13mm what they oh, had. Right. So, you know, I measured 15. Yeah, it's yeah, actually. Yeah. Come in at about 11 now because I've squished it all in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they actually are a little bit, a little bit too much now. But yeah, again, I have to shave a couple of mil off them, that's good. This is 15. 15. This is 15. This is 15. That's where the 30 come from. That's 15. That's 15. Yeah. Yeah. That's a single shot though. This thing should last a little bit longer. <laughs>
Are you sure blowers are meant to go in the front of the car, yeah? Hey? They're meant to be in the front. Oh, well, that's what we're trying to work out. Oh, we had it in the boot, but it's it wasn't working. It's got the pretty gold stuff on the bottom. Pretty gold wow. stuff. Nice. Am well, I really meant to have this right now? Yeah, we'll go chuck it on, on the ground or the bench. We're going to pull it apart, remember? Oh, that's right. Yeah. We oh. can't put the blower on. What? You got any knock sensors? Yeah. There's something that being you want to pull back out. Yeah. Bottom of these are all loose. <laughs> Tell them I'm a plumber, mate. We're like super detailed. <laughs> We've got actual problems. We can kill people. So can I. Don't you, put you, any... you can. Don't, ben can't. I can run people over as well as don't put studs in walls. I mean, they're blind. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> nice gasket. Oh, okay, so it's got a rubber at the bottom. And that must have a rubber on the bite side I just put on top of my metal bench. Viewers at home, what problem we have is this has what a f***er. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. You're going to jam your f***ing finger, that's what you're going to do. That? Someone's yeah. gone through the blower. Oh, man, she's had a. It's second hand blower, it's not new. What went in there though? F***ing up with that? Uh, probably bits of engine parts or <laughs> a valve. Mm. Uh, yeah, what the problem is we have is we want to keep this under the bonnet, but that spacer and the ones in the back makes the blower of more. Yeah, because these make it from a 1.9 to, to a 2.1 or something yeah, with that and the and base ones, plates. Yeah. Which we can't have that. No, which sucks because. Oh, and that. And that. <laughs> I knew, we knew that come off. Yeah. <laughs> so with this and this. <laughs> yeah. We are actually LSA specialists here. So we are definitely. If anyone needs anything we've done. We've definitely just, uh, done lots of these. Let us, uh, let us know. Mm-hmm. Yep. So there's not something else that's meant to I'm not sure. I'm a little confused. So that must be lower. It's got to be lower. There must be a drop down. Or we just look like complete idiots right now. Mm. Amateur hour. <laughs> <laughs> I've never played LSA. Well, why are all those bolts loose if it's factory? Unless I had this off and I went, F we need to get rid no, of it. No, that's how you undo the manifold. <laughs> if they wanted to get rid of it, they wouldn't paint it with a sharpie. Yeah, that's how you, you do them, so they have to come off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. We'll have to do a little oh, reset. Free, I really want to jam my finger in there. Yeah. <laughs> Just do it for the camera. You should, can you give me a for a sec? It's not that big. <laughs> Yeah, remember the first like I was seeing the Ben yesterday, the first time I seen inside a blower, I was like, well, that's it, well, that's it, that it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some twirly things. That's what f***s engines and cost lots of money. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yep. I reckon he might have f***ing grenaded his motor. <laughs> I think you're 100% right. <laughs> but it's not ideal to have bits and pieces in a blower, but we're also just going to send it. No, we're just going to pretend like they weren't there. Well, we can't do anything about it unless we reco it, so yeah. we're not doing that. We're prepared. We can get in there with a little grinder thing, but oh. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no f***ing stupid Remy Rico ideas. We're just going ahead with it. Stupid Remy Rico ideas as he just painted underneath his whole car. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with Remy Rico paint. <laughs> he bought it from me, bro. Right? <laughs> like, does that come? That's what I'm thinking. That, that comes out. And that just sits back that, in there. So then that gives us our height again. Yeah. But let's have a look. Let's have a quick uh, look. No, I'm just feeling that I can't run any of this because it is like it. a bigger blower. Ooh, I'll right. give it more area. No. Well, if it's the fact that we can always put it on too, Ben. You know. Well, if it's the fact of not fitting under my bonnet or fitting under the bonnet, I did all this headache to fit under the bonnet. Yeah. Especially with this silly. Like when we get to power cruise, we'll just put the f bonnet off, put the place of spaces in, and here we go. Well, I don't think we're gonna need to. We've got a, enough power, I think. A stroker LSA, I think it should be okay. Yeah. So if anyone wants to buy a spacer kit, they're quite expensive. I think they're about 10 15, grand. I think. Bucks, I think. Yeah, 10 grand, yeah. We'll, we'll do it for nine. We'll do it for nine. Yeah. I think they're pretty deep. Cash only. Mm. <laughs> Cash only with delivery. Let's sit this on. Blokes on blokes. Sit it on. Sit that on. We can't really bolt it because obviously I need those knock sensor. But I can put two in it just to sit it and see what it looks like. It's like he has to lift it in and out of the boot every time. Yeah. Lucky you can't reach in the boot. Yeah, he couldn't even f***ing lift it off the bench. <laughs> the other spacer is... Big dogs. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, 12 mil or something. We will keep all them. Maybe roughly 10. Mm. 
10, 12. They're pretty, they're pretty good on it. Should be burning it. It should. And the viewers at home can see what they're in for. I'll see this on the ego text and aloe text. Yeah. No, I've never had a Commodore, so. This is like. Thoughts? Really? Just gonna sit this dog on and see what she looks like. See what her height is. Maybe get further back, I'm way too close here. What is it? Ten point seven? Or ten point seven. Oh. Yeah. That's what we said the first time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not seven point ten. Ah oh. <laughs> That's my alter ego. I'll just like set myself up like randomly somewhere else and film myself giving myself shit with this hat on, because it's Karen. I know what signs are of a mental illness, <laughs> I mean. No, I reckon that's pretty up there. Is that heavy? <coughs> Gotta hold those gaskets. Are you right? No. Nope. Alright, you hold a gasket up. Oh shit, why are they like that? Because they just slide. I'll just go gently. Kinda. Because oh, it's gonna go in those holes. So maybe we're better off sliding it onto the blower. Okay. Oh, that's kind of much of a muchness, but yeah, at least we've got something located. Wait, what? That hole's not there on the, your motor. Alright, okay. You grab this maybe. Hang on, sorry. Yeah, those dowels aren't in your motor. In the same spot. And what it didn't go in? These dowels? Those dowels are in different spots on your motor while my side was not. He doesn't even have one on his side. It's just got two bolts in it. Yeah, I think it was. Interesting bit of kit, aren't they? Yeah. So what are you saying? We take the dowel off? Well, can we get it out? Not me told me that. Because I clearly didn't even know a spacer was a spacer or a gasket, so... That's true. I don't know anything about these. There's not much to the snow. I don't know anything about cars. No anglers. Zing zing zalabim. <laughs> Whoa, that's a good start. Yeah, I like it. I don't like cameras when I'm doing this stuff. No, okay, well, I'll stop filming. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely the fitter and turner in you right there. That's nice. That was good. I liked it. You were very, very cautious about what you're doing. I actually uh, think that's pretty, pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got the gasket between them, so if it's like even just a bee's eye, that's fine. So it's pretty much Rico and the blower now if anyone wants to buy one. Yeah. It's converted. It's our LS. Early LS converted. If you've seen this, this is uh, <laughs> yeah. heat nappies. <laughs> it's heat nappies. It's heat nappies. Good for uh, 2,000 pounds of food. Yep. All right, let's put this dog back on now. Where's this gas for this dog? Yeah. So, I'll just sit. Yeah. You just drop that in the bottom. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's a magnet. Fucking slip straight over the It's like you're dumb. Well, it's just long enough I won't go past the battle. Oh, well, it's not like we're starting. Okay, so I'm just going to start that bolt. <laughs> it's like, I'm actually going to put it in with this dog. How's that? You don't have any emotion, but when you no. drop a bolt into the fish's motor, there was like a little bit of emotion there. Yeah. He was just like... <laughs> 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 that was nice knowing you guys. <laughs> Hello, Dr. <Dr>. Smiles. <laughs> hey, no, that's not... <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, we're just chopping shit <laughs> out. <laughs> It is Remy's chop shop, so he might as well just go and start chopping the zookas. What's the point? I need something that's going to out both sides. Yeah, they're definitely too long. Yeah, as you get spacer. Mm. It's nearly, I reckon, if I take this thing that's nearly going to fit. Yeah, you might have to chop your fin on the bottom of them. Which is okay. But other than that, like it is deceiving, because I know like even like my fing mitt. My mini truck, right? Well, now <laughs> but if you, even if you look at that across the thing, yeah. like, how the f is the bonnet closed? Because I was looking at the battery going, the battery's higher than the f. My five wheels are that far, no wonder. Well, the, really? yeah. Look, the yeah, thing is, me. worst case, if it's just this part here, if I have to try and raise the bonnet a little bit or I have to raise it at the front, mm. 
I'll get it. That's yeah. good enough. Yeah. And still, that'll that's probably going to come down this much more by the time we put just, it all down. Probably. Just put a 79 Cruiser bonnet. Right? The, I told him just put an XR8 bonnet bulge on it. I was, I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh nah, only a fk to say that. <laughs> or you could just be one of those full flogs and get a Mitsubishi Eclipse fing thing on the side. What's that? Oh, there's like a little vent thing. <laughs> no, it's just a little bulge here. It's for the airbox. Oh, really? <laughs> like, f do you think of that? Well. <laughs> I think the thing that annoys me, like, I love this, the space of that, but the only good thing is it does give it a lot of room. Like even around here, if you've got to work on anything in the back, there's plenty of room to do so. Yeah. If that wasn't spaced, that would be a nightmare down there. Oh, if you do the uh, traditional uh, five liter in there, in front of the dizzy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now this is ridiculous, you can see the whole gearbox. Yeah, yeah, it is wild. Like, that's a lot easy. It does. Like it's actually, a, looks like it's made for it. You need three people to do. Not <laughs> <laughs> oh well, so maybe right now I we wash up and I get a list and start ordering some bits because I'm gonna need sensors and to go forwards with the engine. I need the brakes, booster, master. You know, maybe I do a bit of a list and get home and go shopping. Because that's where we're kind of there's still work to do. Don't get me wrong, but mm. I'm at that point where like extractors, I should start. You know, looking at this kind of crap now. And it's the same as this. I'm gonna change this. You can get them with dash fittings on them instead of because they're lock ones. Yeah. And I need yeah, dash now. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna buy that. Let's suit that. When I was like, I oh, bring it here, I was like, I kind of feel shit because I was like, I don't know where we'll get to distinguish whether my shift is normal or reverse pattern. I think it's just normal. So I wanted the light up for it. The dude makes a kit. Lights go through it, so it lights up which gear you're in. Oh, the yeah. ratchet's really cool. That would be cool. Yeah. So, but that's like, I want it to be nice. I don't yeah. want it to be a shit box. No. The height it was, I think we've got it back on without having it. Uh, oh, that's not that bad, is that bad? Oh, shit on it. Until you have five Nah, no, it's still... You still got a good 120 mil. Yeah. Yeah. Probably longer. Probably the 6 inches. And it's directly underneath your tyres, so it's not like you're gonna f***ing... You know what it is too, just being a bit mindful that it is lower. You so, know, <laughs> take me time on driveways and bits. Actually, um... Camber's not terrible considering. It was. Really. Yeah, that's f***ing wild. It was lower with the RV in it. That's complete engine brake, your size exhaust and bolt on. It's not that much more weight. Nah, than it. nah. Like, that's the big That's one. actually like, yeah, f***ing sick height. That's amazing that Pazzy sucked it. Oh, good times. I mean, there is a little bit more weight to go on the front, but it's like not, yeah, not a ridiculous amount. No. This is easier to work on than an RB. <laughs> I've got the biggest engine I can find, and it's still got pictures of it. Except for exhaust, why would f*** for that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how that's going to work. Really don't. I do know how, but the $2,600 bill to get made is the problem. I'll be very, very surprised if these other ones fit. Me too. What do you think? For the viewers at home, and they're in Castlemaine on Monday, and say, Will you guarantee me that your trial wires will fit? Mm. But they said they will. Mm. And we're going to film the reaction of unboxing and sit them in there. So we should, we should film them saying that. We should. All I know is that this isn't going on. No. no I'm glad that you've come to a... Yes. You can't... We're talking... He's going to go block halfway block. through the harmonic balancer. I might get two blocks. Or by blocks, I mean a bit of box tubing there. Yeah, you just get box tubing and fucking... Um, I can remedy of that one. I'll throw it in with the tubs. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's actually not too bad. No, I thought it would be worse. Oh, that's my roof. Alright guys, hope you've enjoyed the build video so far on Ben's VL. Ben's actually taken his VL back to his house now to tinker around with it a little bit more. We will get some sort of more footage on that car, but he's going to tinker around with the small stuff by himself. And then hopefully we'll have another video for it towards the end of the build. And then we'll definitely have videos for it once we get it out on the road and to power cruise. We're just not sure now if we're actually going to make power cruise. So uh, for now, we've just put his VL on the back burner. But I'm not leaving you guys hanging because my VL is coming back to the channel. So I'm replacing a VL with a VL. And we also have another VL that's going to be coming in and getting a V8 uh, manual conversion. So um, 
There's gonna be VL content. It's just gonna be a little bit spun up for a little bit. That's fine. Um, yeah, stay tuned for the next video.